Hey guys, uh, got a little bit of a mess. I was trying to film this one, following this one tree out I have out back. Uh, it, they're all dead and and uh, no good. Uh, but I was trying to film it and then I uh, trying to so I could tune my uh, saw. So I did a little bit of work on it, like I said before. And uh, well, apparently I must have hit the button and it shut off. But I did get tree down yep no issues nice and smooth nice clean stump and uh, a couple of these other little trees there well round it and then I have one more this one here it's all dead and getting in all rotted soil here I have in my backyard is uh, very sandy and uh they, they don't grow too well back here that and i have it's full of pine trees so there's not a lot of sun to get to it um and but oh well this one here i'm gonna uh, we're gonna have to climb it and uh chunk it chunk it out uh because i'm i'm a little limited on space back here and I don't want it to fall on all the other trees that are around here so um, but yeah we got that one it's not too bad minimal limbs yeah it won't take me long to climb up it and uh, get a chunk down a little bit and knocked over right next to this other one so I'll uh, probably grab my gear and uh, get up this one yeah, shouldn't be too bad. I got a little bit of room for limbs, mostly on the two sides, other than where I want to fall it. So, yeah, not too bad. And then uh, I have a pine tree next to it that's only like 20 foot tall. It should be a lot bigger, but like I said, there's a lot of pine trees so it, around here, and uh, that one got the short end of the stick. So it didn't grow too well. But, uh, get some he here and there. All right, yeah, so I'll get that. I'll try to film it this time. I don't have a tripod, so I usually set it up somewhere. <laughs> Earlier, I had it up in the, my phone up in the tree and doing it that way. And it actually worked pretty well, but tripod would definitely come in handy. But, uh, every time I go to get one, I forget. But, oh, well, so I'll see you back. Hey fellas, I'm back. I got some stuff cleared up back here. I'm uh, just working on getting my spikes set up here. Hey Nick Pixel, I don't know if anyone told you yet or if you know, but uh, when you go to set up your spikes, uh, when you go to put them on, start at the bottom of, around your ankles. Get those ankle straps in first. Yep. And that'll, uh, that'll set your height, top of your boot, or the top of the bottom of your boot. Yep, and then that'll, uh, that'll set your height so when you go do your top straps, or strap, I don't know if you got one or two. I have two. I just got new spikes. They're, uh, uh, shoot, now I can't remember the name of them. Ah, damn, stupid memory. Um, ah, I'll think of them. Um, but, got some new spikes. I'll remember the name eventually. Uh, and then I went with, uh, these big, huge, uh, um, Weaver's, uh, super pads. Very nice, very comfortable. Take up my whole leg, where I uh, I can be pretty comfortable sitting up in in the tree. You know, I can just kick back and take a breather. Sometimes when you get your top straps in, you want to reset. See if you could reset your uh, your bottom strap around your ankle there. Sometimes they'll they'll readjust on their own, but at least for mine anyway. 
like I said, I'm still getting used to mine. They're new. Still breaking them in. But, they're very nice. A lot better than my old ones. My old ones were old school. A real old school. <laughs> I, the, I couldn't even read the name of them. They were so old. It was all wore out. The lettering, the numbers, and all that. They, they just wore out. So, I don't know exactly what they were. But, they did the purpose. They were doing good. Just decided to get some new ones. Uh, some better uh, gaffs on there. The gaffs, they were replaceable, but you couldn't find them there because the gaffs, the way they had them, they had a bar attached to them that went up and with the strap. Ironwood, I don't know if you uh, know what I'm talking about, but uh, I, you've been in the game a little longer than uh, the rest of us, so I, I don't know if you uh, are familiar with that type where the gaff was pinned and then another little piece of bar went set inside the uh, in, in the inside the strap or the uh, the bottom of the shoehorn there went up to the side of the the uh, to the gaff and into the shoehorn sorry I'm trying to talk here I'm a little uh, winded from walking back and forth. <laughs> Gotta stop smoking. Don't start smoking. Yeah. Smoking's bad. Been trying to quit. I cut back quite a bit, which is good. So, anyway, gonna go up this tree here. It's pretty decent size. I mean, it's only about 50 foot, so it's kind of short. A little smaller than I'm used to, but back here and in Michigan, that's a pretty decent size, sadly. It is, you know, it is what it is, but I'll get my saw warmed up, and uh, my uh, little saw, you might hear a little rattle, the clutch on there is uh, a cheapy clutch. It's just a Chinese uh, little uh, 30... I want to say a 32 and a half cc it's just a just a little guy it's, i took this and i got it for a hundred bucks and i took it and i kind of did my thing onto it did a little muffler mount on it it runs runs great but uh it's not bad i've been wanting to get get me an echo been saving up for an echo maybe eventually i can get it uh, but but i went through and spent all my money on new gear you know and uh whatnot but oh well all right well you might hear a go-kart in the back yeah i got the my daughter and the neighbor girls are out riding their go-kart we got a decent size acreage here in the in this area but anyway i'll get up there and uh, get a limb down i want to chunk down top it and chunk it down a little bit so when i fall it over next to the one i just did i don't want to hit this new foliage i want to clear out most of this dead pine I got back here. Unfortunately, pine, you know, I, I hate to, I, I hate to, I don't think I'm gonna climb any of it because I hate sap all in my rope and my lanyard and all that is nasty and then you get covered. I'm sure you, uh, Iron Man, I'm sure you know how it goes. Um, but uh, yeah, I um, wanna get this new foliage going and uh, get it growing. Uh, I'm not going to do any uh, rope. I'm just going to go up there and just uh, lanyard and saw. It's uh, just a one-man thing, you know, and just limb it out. Like I said, it's not very tall. It's not leaning real bad. It's, it's pretty straight. It's not, it's not, I'm not too worried about it. So I'm just going to go up there and uh, just do my thing and come back down. That's it. Yeah, nothing real special. So...
Okay, I'm back. We're going to do some splitting. Let's see if I can set this thing up. In the back of my truck, it's a little windy. I don't know if I can do that. Yeah, I'll well, set you down here. Do a little bit of splitting. I got some wood. Took down the trees up here in the front yard finally. And, uh, yeah. Just do a little bit of splitting. I'd split my logs. They're a little shorter, smaller. It's just the way my burner is. I only burn in the garage. Every once in a while in the house in the fireplace. But mostly, uh, mostly in the garage. <laughs> but it's, yeah, they're a little bit small. So if they look small to you, then yeah, <laughs> that's why. So, alright, we'll get her started, warmed up. Friends, uh, my back ain't feeling too well right now, but I might split some a little bit more. But I gotta get that, gotta get the saw out and uh, yeah, clean up a couple pieces. Some of these pieces are really, really short. Uh, a buddy of mine, he's in the tree service. Yeah, he, he helped me take down this tree. Uh, he actually did uh, most of it, beat me to it. But uh, yeah, he he has a tendency to cut really really short logs like 12 inches <laughs> i usually cut mine about 18 to 20 inches uh, i usually go by my saw my my saw which, which is that i usually use is an 18 inch so i mean my my uh no oh, sorry Losing track of thought here. <laughs> uh, we just get, got done doing pumpkins inside with the kids. So, but, uh, yeah, my, uh, my, uh, wood stove in the garage, it takes 24 inch logs. So I usually come by 18 to 20. And I give a little bit of air space in there. So, and that, then I don't have to shuffle them around when I'm stacking them in there or something. So I usually leave them shorter but yeah he uh has a tendency to cut 12 inches don't don't get me wrong i love the guy does great work just when you go to log he's not a logger uh, I, i've got experience on both sides um, instead of just throwing them in a chipper you know like he's used to so um i like so he 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 doesn't burn wood so that's why he cuts them smaller throws little chunks into the chipper, you know, but, 
Yeah. Now, I like to burn mine. And yeah, 12 inches kind of get a pain in the butt. You know, you're stacking a bunch of wood that's too far back or too far forward and it can even out the, the heat in the stove too well and I usually don't like to burn but it is what it is I try to beat them out here when uh, when, when we do all that I don't know if y'all like the cowboy hat but this is me this is who I am I'm a uh, I'm more of a cowboy type a little bit on the redneck side but yeah uh, this is I like to be outdoors, this is me. I like to play with wood, saws, horses. I don't have any horses, but I'll ride them if I can. You know, I love my horses. But yep, yeah, I'm a little bit on the cowboy side. Nothing wrong with that. But, yep, yeah, I'm gonna end this one here. I'll probably fast forward through most of the splitting. It kinda got a little long in four minutes already. So, uh, and, and I will see you guys back in the garage for the end of the video. And, uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up there. All right. See ya. Hey, y'all. Hope y'all doing fine. Being good, kind. So, ooh, we've got a big wasp in here. Caught out in here. Ah, uh, he a big boy. Got him. <laughs> All right. So, as you've seen in the video, I'm getting uh, used to this editing thing. Uh, it's kind of fun. So, uh, yeah, this is a little different. I found out I can add uh, videos that I've done during the day. Uh, that pretty much consists of my regular uh, weekends. Uh, pretty much. And I do a lot of woodwork. I've been trying to get trees down and and it, you can see I uh, I didn't get any uh, footage of my, my climbing. I wanted some input and see what y'all think and uh, get some uh, little bit of advice if, if any and uh, I'm sure there's always something. If you ain't doing nothing, you, if you ain't learning, you ain't doing it right. You know, that's what I think. So, but yeah, that's, um, that's pretty, that's, that's me right there. That's, that's what I do during the weekends. And when I'm not on jobs during the weekends, I'm usually on jobs. I have, uh, one I bid on, uh, last weekend. Oh no, I bid on Friday. I did, I did on Friday. Um, bid out a job and, uh, he was going to contact some other people and go from there and he's, uh, uh, an old customer customer of mine that I had when I had my taxidermy business before the fire, and uh, I ran into him at uh, Walmart or something a while back, and and uh, I got talking, and he uh, called me. Actually, he lives right down the road, not even a mile. It's like a minute from here. So, yeah, that, that's uh, real nice. Um, I usually don't haul anything away except for logs. The only thing I get in my truck, you know, because uh, right now I don't have a trailer. I have a trailer. I just it's in pieces. It's being rebuilt and it's very small. It's just a just a real tiny. I forget the size of it. Um, but I would love to get a chipper in a box truck or something. You know, I would love to get something, but. Uh, Cause I want to do more work. I want to get this charity thing of mine going. I have a, I wanted a, want to get a charity going where I can help people with tree work and stuff with the storms. And but uh, and, but and and for low income families, cause around here we don't make a lot of money. There's, it's it's just the way it is around here in a small town, real small village town. It's not even town. It's considered a village. Yeah, you blink an eye, you pass right through it. Yeah, that, that's how small it is. I'm no joke, but I love it. I love it that way. It's getting a little chilly outside. Today was a good day. It's uh, it was up to 50 degrees, a little over 50 with sun shining here and there, and and uh, it was a nice day. But it got chilly. My back's getting the best of me. My old injury, uh, so I couldn't keep splitting wood. Uh, I went back out splitting after uh, 
uh, Bill, old Billy Ray, old Buck in there, got, uh, got on his live feed, which is, was nice to see, and I hope uh, the best up for him and a uh, uh, good recovery. I'm sure uh, he'll bounce right back. Yep, that's the way I, my back's getting the best of me today. Um, give me a couple days of light work at work at my normal job for now. I'll bounce right back, and uh, I'll probably be out there splitting tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs> you know, I got trees. Couple, that what well, last tree I did out front, and then the one today that you guys didn't get to see the footage of, but. Yeah, and I, I got my, uh, got my old, old Poland, uh, he did, uh, that all tuned up, running great, really good, lots of power, it's, except there's something going there, I don't have a lot of bottom end for some reason, it did before, um, so I'm going to play around a little bit with it, but toward the end of the day, I, it would start to run pretty good, so I'll play around with it some more. My uh, my top handle. Uh, it's my no name top handle. It's it's a it's an okay saw. It does a good job. Uh, every once in a while, I gotta. I probably have to tune it a little bit more. It's something there with the carb. I'll probably play around with it some more and get it going a little better. <clears throat> Excuse me. My nose is going crazy here. Uh, like I said, it was a little chilly. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, it's um, it's a pretty good day. Uh, I sat down there for a little bit, and had a little bite to eat, and, and then I uh, got back at it. Uh, my filter for this uh, uh, Eager Beaver here, that top handle, as you notice, I got it up running, which was exciting, but definitely a carb issue in there. Definitely have to uh, get in there and probably do a good carb clean. I'll just let it soak in the uh, carb cleaner for a while, for a day, and then uh, yeah, go from there. I get in the uh, new filter, as you can see, they're pretty holy. <laughs> Yep, just ride it out. So I got that coming tomorrow. And uh Yep, so it's uh not bad of a day. Actually I think I deserve a beer. Yep. Um I'm not a I never was an alcoholic, but my family's a big beer drinker. So we like to celebrate with beer. Um so I never got into the real heavy drinking, except for college days, you know, how it all goes, you know, young and dumb, and I won't fill in the rest, so, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, but I, I was, um, I don't know why I have to, I feel like I have to share this, I don't know why, it just, just something just tells me I just, it's going that way, it just, I don't know why. I'm trying to explain all of my who I am. I guess it is because because today was a day of how I am. I got my hat on. This is what I normally wear on the weekends. Uh, normally you see me in a, a ball cap, uh, but yeah, that's uh, I'm always with a hat. Never without a hat. But yeah, this is this is who I am. It's, I, I guess uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll go there. Why not? I lived up in Michigan, as you all know. Oh, oh. Well, that sucks. Well, it's cold and frozen. Well, that sucks. I don't know how it got frozen. It's been warm in here. I'll, uh, let that sit. I'll go with it. I'm in I'm in Michigan, as you know, so um, we're pretty close to the uh, Canadian border. So here we like our our Canadian beers, I guess. 
Well, I, at least I do. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. So I'll have a little bats today. But anyway, yeah. Like I said, I've never got heavy in the drinking. I'm not, I'm not a drinker. Uh, usually I don't drink much at all, if any. Uh, just the weekends here and there and with my family or my brother and my dad. That's usually when things get a little crazy sometimes, but there ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, we're, 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 uh, just having a little bit of fun. Uh, yep, but I do, um, I was hooked on, um, pills. Uh, at one time, uh, I, well, after my accident, I just, uh, broke my cap on my silicone grease. Lovely. Um, so, yeah, I was hooked on drugs there for a little while. Uh, not too long. So, I'm a recovered uh, addict from uh, the pill popping. Yep. I still take my meds on a regular basis because uh, I have chronic back pain. But I don't get crazy no more. I won't go there. I'm, I'm recovered completely. I don't abuse nothing. It did take me a little bit to... Uh, I, um, get back to them because I didn't want to take them no more. I didn't want to take any of those uh, heavy prescription med medications, but I was at a point where I couldn't function uh, very well. Um, so I did uh, recover. So, and I, I am back on the uh, heavier prescriptions uh, for pain. But like I said, I only get 15 a month. 15 pills a month, that's it, that's, uh, that's all I'll take, and if that don't get me through, then I'm, that's, that's it, I won't go do nothing else, I won't, I'll take, uh, Tylenol or something like that, and uh, cinnamon, because I can't take ibuprofen, unfortunately, to help with the swelling, that would be nice, but I can't take it, I have, uh, uh, colitis, so, that, uh, upsets my stomach a little bit, but I am recovered, I'm good. I've been recovered for, let's see, the car accident will be coming up on seven years, I want to say, six, seven years, so wasn't, uh, so that was a year on, a little over a year on uh, uh, prescription meds, so I've been recovered for about five, five years now, going strong. Yep. It's, it's all in the uh, mentality. You, if you want to get off them, get off them. You can do it. Yeah, there's, there's no shame in saying, um, hey, I have a problem. I, I need to get off these. I need help. And if anybody has that type of issue, I don't have a problem helping. Nope. I don't. I don't have a problem. And just get a hold of me or just drop it in the comments if hey. You want to talk on a personal level or in a, um, through text messaging, phone, email, whatever, I'll, I'll help. I, help. I know I've been there and done that. And, yep. Yeah, I was first addicted when I got out of the, out of the service, got, got out of the Marines. And, cause I was in a big uh, depression root there and... And then I got off for a little bit because I couldn't get anything. And then friends and come help me out and give me some stuff. And yeah, yeah, it, it was it was a dirty road. It was a dirty road. It's uh, one of my lows and pretty low points in my life. And, and uh, but I won't forget about it. I'll think about it every day. Every day, and I'll think about it. Look where what I did, and look look where I'm at now. Yeah, I'm a better person because of it. So, really, it was God sent. It was uh, um, I needed it. Yeah, today's video might be a little on the longer side. I apologize, but in the uh, in the long run, it's worth it. Uh, yeah, if you ever have any issues, don't be afraid to ask. There's no shame. I uh, I don't have a problem telling people of that 
of that part of my life because I know somewhere down the road it will help somebody. It will help somebody. Well, so. but yeah. Anyway, that's uh, like I said, that's uh, that's that's my day. That's one of the, I'm hoping to get more video on uh, some work and and some jobs and hopefully actually get some video of me uh, climbing and uh, love some pointers. Yep, I just, I got some new gear and here and there I, I'll get something here and there and, but uh, I'm a little tapped out right now I donated uh, quite a bit to Bucking and uh, take uh, take his wife out to dinner and I know what it's like being down and, and uh, not being able to work and provide and, and all that and I know what it's like it's, I've been there with my car accident I was out for a while Uh, yeah, and I don't have a problem donate to the channels that I believe in, and and uh, yeah. So yeah, that's uh, kind of lost for words now. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I hope I get some video on me working. I want to get some kind of GoPro, but man, those things are expensive. I don't know how you afford those. I don't understand. Why is that, Why does a little camera cost so much? It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, and then I want a, a tripod for my phone or something, or, or my GoPro if I get one or something. Um, I, I just want something with good video like my phone. It has a great feed and great camera. Um, but... Uh, Nick Pixel, I'm sure you you can help with that. Uh, you're the uh, tech guy. You know, I'm not a, really in the tech. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I'm a young man with an old soul. So I'm old school, and, and I love it. And I'll never never think about going into the what today's age is. is you know, I I don't act my age. I'm I'm a I'm an older person in a young body. Although, like today, when my back it's starting to get the best, man, I don't feel so young. Um, but, or I should say, I've, I'm a young man with an old mind, old person's mind. You know, I'm, I'm old school. Simple as that. Just old school. <laughs> you know. Ah. So, yep. I'm gonna uh, get my uh, get my saws cleaned up. Um, I don't know what you how you all do it with uh, cleaning your saws, but I usually take mine apart and I'll get the uh, blow gun from the air from the air compressor and I'll just blow it all out, wipe it down. Um, I don't like to take the oil off completely. If it's on the outside, then yeah, I'll clean it up with some. Uh, uh, wax and grease remover. Like I said, I'm a body guy, so I use a lot of wax and grease remover. Works fantastic on everything. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I usually just blow it all out and uh, go from there. Excuse me. Mm. Uh, put the new bar on my uh, my saw. Oh, I love it. I love it. I was getting so much slop in that other saw. My cuts would, would be, instead of straight, they'd like to go, whoop. They're like a J cut. <laughs> Man, I was getting tired of it. I hate it. But uh, yeah, the new bar uh, from Oregon. I love it. It's a good saw. Or a good, uh, good bar. Very good bar. I don't know what you guys like to use in new replacements, but the, I'm a big Oregon fan. They they make some good stuff. I like their bars. Uh, yeah, that one with that's an intense cut bar I think it was uh, was the only one I could get for that saw yep works works great works great I love it and uh, it was there toward the end it was once I could finally get some adjustments in there which can, oh I do still have it <laughs> need that and my my adjustment tool there so once I got the adjustments in there it was there toward the end of the day it was, it was cutting pretty good it was nice and hungry so yeah, I'm gonna clean up my saws and 
wait for Nick Pixel to come on. I don't know if you're coming on tonight, but um, yeah, get them all sharpened up, ready for the next job. Probably tomorrow. Got a bunch of stuff in the back that needs to be uh, cut up and split yet. But yeah, I'm just gonna get back in the garage a little, for a little bit and sharpen, clean up. And probably tear into this uh, Eager Beaver top handle I got here. And, and uh, yeah, well, that's my day. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll give you something to do, right? watch, or whatever. And so I apologize again for uh, being so long, but I was trying to squeeze my whole day in there. And, uh, but, yeah, yesterday went great. Dad, uh, my dad and brother, we all went up Houghton Lake, uh, which is about a two hour, a little over two hour drive north of here. And, uh, yep, close up the cabin, froze our butts off, had some lunch, and head on home. So it was a long day. <laughs> yep. And then, yeah, then we, uh, Put the deck lid on uh, the 55, which I'll drop in some pictures here toward the end of the video. I remember. I remember. I remember something. All right. So, yeah, I'll uh, drop in some pictures of the the car. Uh, probably only have one real good one. The garage is kind of small down there, but yep, that was it. So, well, that's the end of my day. Uh, I'll see you all on the next video. All right, take care.